All right, welcome, function folks. Uh, second day of applications. This is applications of, of logarithmic scales. And um, I'm going to sort of pawn off my lecturing a little bit to a uh, YouTube video. And that, that's the that's the uh, the site there, and hopefully I I put a link to it on the um, on the web page. So please, as your three minute review, watch that. You don't necessarily have have to take any notes, but watch that and um, and just sort sort of soak it up. I like the the way the uh, professor sort of or or lecturer whoever it is describes uh, logarithmic scales. So go ahead and do that, and then come back. Okay, you, you watch that, right? Okay, good. Um, now we're actually going to talk about some specific scales, uh, the Richter scale and, um, and a, a few other ones. And as it said, along with earlier applications where we need to use exponents or logs to solve problems in the ones from yesterday, the last day, there are several, several applications that specifically use a logarithmic scale. So for instance, the um, earthquake intensities, and I think the other um, that the other video actually uh, did an example of this. But this little formula, that where m is the Richter scale reading, always compares the earthquake's intensity to to a baseline. And, and a lot of these logarithmic scales is to a baseline, and that's measured in in uh, and who knows baseline energy amount if you seen it on tv it's there there's the little like thing that's going back and forth and also when there's an earthquake it goes nuts like that that's what we're talking about is is the these units are, are this and and each earthquake is compared back to a basic value okay and so that means and get rid of that that looks bad um whenever we're talking about how much uh, bigger an earthquake is to, to another, basically we're talking about not just a difference in Richter scale, the difference is an exponent base 10, all right? And, and to solve these problems like this example, we're going to see an easy way and a fast way. Now, this, this YouTube, by the way, which probably I put a link to sort of discuss, uh, you know, it just shows what an earthquake's like and it's a little bit of drama. And that one, I, I forget forget uh, how big the, the earthquake it's a little teeny one like a, a 4.2 or something like that on the Richter scale they talk about Richter scale so there was one quite a few years ago now um, almost coming up on a 10 year anniversary uh, when I'm making this video it's 2014 10 years ago uh, that there was that a big big uh, earthquake and it measured 9.3 uh, how much more intense was that earthquake than one that measures 7.2 on the Richter scale, um, and notice the one that set, or sorry, 7.1. The one that measures 7.1 is described as a major earthquake causing serious damage over large areas. And the energy released by an earthquake this big is equivalent to the largest thermonuclear weapon ever tested. So this is a huge earthquake, and the one that caused the the tsunami in 2004 was bigger than that. And we can see on the Richter scale. The difference was only the Richter scale difference was 9.3 was that's 2.2, which doesn't seem like much at all. But remember, both of these are logarithms, and I'll show you the 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 fancy way that we we would do these using this formula. But really we can get away with with calculating how much more intense these are just by putting this to an exponent so the actual intensity factor intensity factor isn't 2.2 it's 10 to the exponent 2.2 how much more intense this one was than this one is an exponent and by the way, I'm okay with you doing, which is about 158 times is more intense. So BTW, this one that caused the, the uh, tsunami was 
158 times more energy than the biggest nuclear nuclear weapon ever blown up. Amazing, amazing force. Um, so notice in this, we never use this formula. I'll show you later that kind of we did, kind of we did, but this type of calculation is faster and it's actually accurate. And, and if you're able to do this calculation on a test, that we're just fine with you taking that approach instead of using these formulas. At times, we will want to use these formulas, but, but we'll discuss that when we get to them. Um, okay, what's the next example? I think it's decibels. So decibels are used to compare sound loudness. So um, we're uh, familiar with decibels, hopefully, and uh, it's a logarithmic scale. So when we say something is 90 decibels and something is is 100 decibels, the 10 units that it's bigger, 10 decibels louder, isn't just 10 decimals, decibels louder, it's a factor. Um, notice the formula is a little bit different. The deci part, that means 10, and that's where this 10 comes from. Where again, a decibel rating is always, and most of these logarithmic scales are compared back to a basic uh, a baseline and this is the baseline this is the threshold of human hearing so this would be kind of like what a human ear can hear and that's a really quiet thing and this would be a comparison in intensity uh, sound intensity to that um, baseline threshold threshold do I, is that, did I spell threshold right uh, I don't know you can make fun of me in class if I didn't spell threshold uh, right there. Base, baseline threshold for human hearing. And just like uh, in the earthquake one, we went back to a baseline that this, this one we're comparing to a baseline as well. So how many more times loud is 10 decibels than 60 decibels? And in your textbook, page 498 has you know, various things that are so many decibels, like a car going by or human speech, or we know, you know, a pin drop would be would be this intensity of like one decibel sort of thing, or zero decibels would be would be uh, uh, the threshold of human hearing. Well, we can see the decibel difference is 40 subtract 60, that's 40 decibels, 40 decibel difference. Um, but not like not like the Richter scale where it's just it's not 10 to the exponent 40 the the deci this 10 means that we lop off a decimal okay so then the actual factor louder is 10 to the exponent 4 which is actually yep 10,000 times louder one two three four four tens and so this is the idea of you know prolonged uh, exposure to really loud things like at a concert for instance you can really do long-term damage to your hearing because it's so much more intense than what you should be listening to um, 10 uh, 10,000 times louder uh, a common question here is well what happens if the decibel say you know it wasn't how many more times is is a hundred decibels than 63 or something like that and, and it ends up being a uh, a fraction it's not it's not an even number of tens well I still just put a decimal there and it would be 10 to the exponent 3.7 instead of an even number so don't worry if it ends up being a fraction that still all works and again notice I didn't use this formula and I did this fast calculation this fast easy calculation and I'm about to show you why that works in this next example uh, the next example is near and dear to some of your hearts I know the chemistry people again pH levels um, I, I think I might save this for part two it feels like we're getting late uh, yeah I'll save this for part two this is a little more involved example uh, part two will probably only be about five minutes but I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for that 